Do you think you've kept us going long enough, Jockey? It's not me. It's Effie that's mocking it. You can't call her a whore, Jockey. I didn't. You might as well have done. Look, I'm well within my rights. Rights? This is getting money to do with rights, Jockey. Effie's done nothing wrong. What? She ran off with a complete stranger. You know that's not true. Oh, you were there, were you? No, but neither were you. And if Effie insists she did nothing wrong, you've got to believe her. Why? Because she's your wife and it'll put an end to this. And besides, you heard what Sarah said. What's it got to do with Sarah? You'll find out when your backside hits the pavement, Jockey. Yeah, you're along there, Tony. Like I said, it's Effie that's milking us. She's the one that'll be in the streets. Jockey, Effie is the indispensable one. Cooking, cleaning, washing, ironing, looking after Sadie. I'm Sadie's grandfather. This is my home. I think you'll find that that amounts to nothing. Now, are you going to get changed and walk with me to the church? I'm not going, I've decided. Fine. We'll just let Effie get the upper hand then, eh? She gets to go to the wedding and you don't. I'll get changed. Oh, my. You just look... You look lovely. Oh, don't start, Morak. We'll have enough of that when Effie starts blubbering. <laughs> but look at you. You look fantastic. Well, I did my best. Is that a chick? I didn't hear a car. Oh, no. Oh, Mora, you'll have to help me. What is it? The pigs are running mad all over the yard. Oh, lucky I will throttle you. Thank you very much. Oh, don't you just love dressing up? It's the best part of weddings. So, now have you decided to come? Yeah, I've been sweet talked into it by this young lady here. And Davy Snedden? Why, what's he done? He's lending Niall one of his suits. Oh, glad to see you two have buried the hatchet. Hey, you never know. They might end up being more than friends. Ah, there you are. Sorry about the mothballs. No bother. You can use the bedroom. Thanks. But hurry up, we've only got 15 minutes. Come on, I'll give you a hand. No, it's okay. Fine. Listen, I know what you young fellows are like trying to tie a tie. Come on. So, what did you mean they could be more than friends? Oh, shh, I'll tell you later. Ah, then I'm tired of myself. Why? What's happened? He's shy, would you believe? <gasps> Can't take after his father, then, can he? You're feeling better, then? I think I feel ready for any eventuality. Lucky you're getting married. You're not crossing the Antarctic. Well, I feel a lot calmer, thanks to you, Tom. Listen. You wait here. I'll check and see if the taxis are out there. <laughs> Mrs. Mack! Oh, goodness me! Mrs. Mack! Not a word, do you hear? No, me. I'm the soul of discretion. Oh, that would be right. Don't you worry. Not a word. No, I mean it. Your secret is safe with me, Tom. <laughs> I'm supposed to be after the wedding. Oh, oh Chick, thank goodness you're here. Come on. Oh, what's happened? Matthew MacIver, that's what's happened. Well, I mean, you should be there already. Come on, you'll need to go. Can we not just leave them? What? Have them running the length and breadth of Scotland? No, we cannot. Lucky, I'll just have to wait. Now, you get over there and send them down this way. Oh, and he's... Look, I'm the one who's walking up the aisle, not you. Come on, we pet. She, 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 she. Who would have believed it, eh? What? Ah, oh, five men like Lucky getting married to that old Harden. Mary's a good woman and you know it. She's just stubborn like yourself. Maybe. And voila. You've been in there for ages. Worse than a woman. So what do you think? Very suave. I don't know about suave. Sexy seems more appropriate, don't you think? See the effect putting one of my suits on has. <laughs> Thanks, I really appreciate it. Could it be made for you? 
Come on, or we'll miss the blade of the church. All right. Come on, son. Oh, Sheila, can't you see it? What? Oh, you'd be blind not to notice. Sally, it must be so cryptic. Well, if you can't see it now, you never will. What? Sorry. I'm so to see. Can Is that the last of them? Well, I don't know how many there were. Well, we don't have time to start counting them. Marty, look at your lovely dress. Oh. Well, you don't look too good yourself. Come on, we'll go and get cleaned up. Well, I'll look at time for that. Why ever not? Well, do you want Lackey to think you've stood him up? Well, after this fiasco, maybe I should. Oh, come on. I've got a cloth in the car. You can use it in a way. I will. A wee bit of mud never harmed anyone. It can. 